Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Media True Nerd, and welcome to Life in Bunker, a game that the devs are describing as a cross between Fallout and Dungeon Keeper, and that's pretty much normally the point where I yell shut up and take my money. So let's have a dive into this, shall we? I've already played through the training mode, because this is one of those games that's like a little bit more complex, you need to kind of get to grips with it, so like very often with games like this and Fear Equation, I'll do the training mode first, because I don't want to kind of show that to you, because like it's just me making mistakes as I learn how the things fit together. So I don't know this game very well, I've literally played it probably like half an hour, an hour. Just enough to get to grips with the basics, so let's dive in and have a little look see because this is uh, this is a little bit special. Also, I want to show you the intro sequence that plays when the game loads, because it's spectacular. It's like a ridiculously sped up comic version of the intro to Fallout 4, it's glorious. So there's a man enjoying his wonderful life, feeding the pigeons. And now he's dead and his world is destroyed and his head falls off. Beautiful! So welcome to Vault 101. I'm just going to pause time for a second here. Uh, basically, yes, this is entirely randomly generated as far as I can see. It just kind of starts you off with some bare basics that you need. You know, you've got kind of like a power generator there. That's a water pump. You've kind of got some storage containers with some kind of basic materials just to kind of get you started. A fridge, some basic kind of, this is the, the air purifiers over here. And a bunch of people who are relatively young. Um, the game works on cycles. So if you go over here, this is the vault door to the outside. Though it kind of goes upwards, so you are allowed to like dig out this wall and dig out in this area for some reason. So I, I don't know how the vault really works. But if you click here, the main entrance is sealed for 50 cycles. It'll be open when the atmosphere is suitable for living on the surface. So zero cycles is worth zero years. Meanwhile, 50 cycles is worth 500 years. So all of these people being two cycles old are... Wait, well, that person's only... One. Okay, that person is 20. I think this person must be nearly 20. I think everyone starts off at 20 or almost 20. Because all of these people uh, can do jobs. Because you're going to do jobs when you get 20. Because obviously with 500 years, you have to go through generations. People get old. You need to bring new people into the vault, etc, etc. So yeah, the game's basically giving you the basics of what you need to get started. Though, obviously, a bit like Dungeon Keeper, you dig out and you find new stuff. I've set the map size just like to normal, so everywhere where the mouse is allowed to go, I can theoretically dig out and turn into my vault, and it goes quite a long way off into the ether. Uh, you can theoretically, like, set it so the game doesn't show you where, like, resource nodes are. I personally prefer it does show you, just because otherwise you just kind of dig out randomly and you end up with a big sprawling vault that's not very well planned. It doesn't look very nice. And for me, it's all about the fact that it all has to look very nice. Every single one of these people has, like, various requirements. You know, you've got to fatigue and hunger and cleanliness and toilet and leisure and sport. And we can deal with those right now, but presumably this is, like, right after the apocalypse occurred. So we don't have to worry about any of those just yet. First thing we ought to do is get our vault actually sustainably producing stuff. Stuff. That's always a good idea. So I'm going to start sending my guys to do some digging. So destroy is just kind of dig out. So I'm just going to dig out this here wall here. And then we're going to... Oh, we can't dig out that way. Okay, there's some very tough rocks in that direction. That's fine. We'll just kind of dig out in this direction instead. Cannot be destroyed. Oh, you're being a bit harsh to me today, game. Okay, can I dig out this way? Uh, the game will kind of flag to you if you kind of can't dig in a particular way. Okay, I found a way. Apparently there's some really tough rocks here. Um, before you can kind of drill through the tougher rocks, you need to research, uh, yeah, better drilling equipment. So for the moment, we're going to have to have a slightly scruffy layout over here. This is going to be a kind of our work area here. So once you've kind of set aside an area that you like, you can simply restart time and tell your people to start digging. No one will, however, because no one has that job yet. You've got to assign everyone jobs. So you can see here that these are all the people inside our vault. And basically, each of them has things they can do and cannot do based on their natural aptitude. So like, you know, what the GOAT test tells them what they can and can't do. Like, most people could theoretically be a worker, but some people can't because maybe they're just not physically capable of doing so. Uh, and generally, like, these skills get more advanced as you go along, so they're rarer. So you've got kind of workers, that's just basic people who dig out the ground and build new stuff. Janitors, whose main job is to keep the bunker clean, do lots of kind of general kind of maintenance, and also mysteriously protect you against mole people. We'll get to mole people in a minute. Engineers fix things and service things to make sure they actually keep working as they should do. Uh, the farmers kind of can grow new crops and stuff. The cooks take that raw material and turn it into food. And the scientists do the more advanced stuff. And obviously that's the kind of getting into the more advanced skills there. So obviously people who can become scientists, as a general rule, you just kind of want to set them aside as scientists. But they don't need to be scientists yet. We don't have the ability to do any of that yet. So really for the moment, the best thing we can probably do is basically set everyone who can be a worker 
to be a worker. Aside from two people who can be, actually yeah, those two people who can't be workers can be engineers. But I'll also say a couple of people should be just general purpose janitors. But the majority of the team ought to start off being uh, the basic kind of diggy people. So now if I restart time, everyone runs through and starts digging out into the stone. So they'll all run and they'll kind of help dig through and they'll just dig a big tunnel out to that first bit of research node over there. Very nice. Now while they're getting on with that, obviously we've got a big pile of materials because digging doesn't require any materials, it just requires time and people. Um, so I can start thinking about other things that I could do as well, like basic, uh, just kind of a basic living environment for example. So let's say there's a nice kind of area over over here that could become a nice kind of little living quarters so I'm just going to kind of set aside this big area here and we're just going to have a load of beds here uh, if it doesn't let you click on something uh, but it doesn't actually say cannot be destroyed that often means that um, rather than it being kind of something that you can't destroy what it actually means is that area is already technically hollow there just happens to be a cavern there so we'll set that there too and the moment I think kind of maybe kind of a few of my workers will divert oh no my work oh yeah some of my workers are diverting to that they kind of relatively intelligently distribute themselves among the different tasks that they could be getting on with so they're digging out a big living environment there that's going to be kind of my basic living and sleeping quarters all right so now we've got that there we can actually lay down some basic mining equipment so production and a mining machine over the top of an ore reserve. So we'll lay that down there and someone will get working on that. While well, someone's building that, it's going to need power when it comes up. Because this map, it kind of reminds me of SimCity 4. Um, there's kind of like proper little kind of water plants and electricity plants. And I love the little kind of stylized people bumbling around while you're doing that. Um, everything acts as a conduit. So what I need to do now is I need to uh, land force. Yes, 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 I know. Basically, when you're building floor, you're also building ceiling. So until you've built kind of floor on everything, uh, landfills can kind of cause problems. But then your janitors come in and just kind of hoover up uh, the debris. So the janitor is just going to come along and hoover that up because they've got little hoovers. It's adorable. But yes, now we just need to lay down some basic electricity wiring uh, down this way. So uh, wiring can't go underneath walls. You kind of otherwise people wouldn't be able to service this or get to it. So I just need to move it up here. Happy with that. Yes, I'll build that in that case. So now the electricity wiring is going to be built and all my builders are kind of running to take care of that immediately. It's cute. I like. I just like the style. I think it's, it's nicely and cutely stylized. So that thing obviously isn't doing anything yet because it can't do anything yet. So what I ought to do now is I ought to start laying some floor down so this area is nice and secure. This is kind of my work area. So the floor that I'm going to kind of select, which is going to be the appropriate one, is the concrete floor. So we're just going to have some concrete dotted around here. And we'll get them building on that. And while you generally, like, if you want to lay floor, like, do lay half of it, click confirm. And then while they're building that half, build the rest of it. So we're just building some basic concrete floor here. And then the rest of it can be built there. They're all going to crack on with that very quickly. And while they're building that, I can lay out some walls for my sleeping area. You don't actually have to lay out walls. You can just not do if you'd kind of prefer not to. I, li I like having walls just because it looks kind of nice. And it also protects you against the mole people. That's a mole person. Mole people were mysteriously just kind of seem to have popped up immediately after the end of the radiation. So we'll have someone build uh, walls there. And I'll also have someone build a door. Again, I'm not sure if doors actually serve any purpose, but they look cool. The door will need power as well because it's electric, so I'll just kind of quickly also build some power down here. Uh, actually, it will only require two things. So as I say, everything's a conduit, so uh, power can flow through this machine here and crack on. So that will be absolutely fine. Yes, build those there, and that will work. Uh, those will kind of automatically hook up to the door when it's done. Oh, uh, this machine, by the way, is the incubator. This is where new people come from. I'm just going to start it going now to produce three new children. Because, of course, everyone right now is about the age of 30, but they will eventually retire and will need a new generation coming through. I generally like to just kind of bring a new generation of three children, like, every 20 years or two cycles or so. That tends to work fairly well. Ah, oh, there you are. The door's already powered, and now we can kind of... That's ready to go. Next thing I need to build in production down here is I need to build myself a refinery. So the refinery is basically obviously the tool that kind of takes the raw all the time processing and actually turns it into something useful. Um, people can't really work around things, by the way. In fact, they've got to have like clear, they've kind of got to have like a clear square that they can actually uh, work through. So that person's now going to work through here. I think that thing will have power immediately and that's all it needs. It just needs power. 
uh, to operate. And while he's building that, I'm going to build myself some nice floor. These two floors I don't think make a difference. I personally like using like um, red floor for like public areas like kitchens and restaurants and whatever. And blue floors for like bathrooms and bedrooms. But that's just my preference. It doesn't actually make much of a difference. You guys start building some floor in there because we want to have some beds pretty soon. Everyone starts off with like max all stats. But pretty soon they'll start kind of coming up with various demands for things that they want or need. So now that that room's there and that's my bedroom, I can slap down some beds. Residential zone, single bed, single bed, and single bed, and single bed, single bed, single bed. Six beds is fine. Uh, people don't go to sleep together. There's no concept of time. People just kind of go and just collapse whenever they're exhausted. So six beds will be absolutely plenty. Meanwhile, what's going on here is you can now see that my ore and my minerals are now kind of ticking up. A bit slowly, you know, potentially we'll have more than one mine. As far as I can tell, by the way, mines are basically... Uh, are mines infinite? No, mines are not infinite. Uh, mines are actually just kind of, yeah, uh, drawing out ore, but that ore will be exhausted. So we also need to kind of keep in mind where the next nearest ore deposit is, which is probably down in this direction. So when we start expanding, we'll probably want to expand in this direction towards those two kind of ore facilities down there, because we are going to need more ore. And then one bit of ore becomes five bits of, uh, yeah, five bits of actual materials, which basically build everything. So that thing is very, very rapidly turning my ore into materials. Uh, if anything, there's going to be a slight problem, which is eventually that thing's going to be able to stop producing because I only have the capability to store a thousand materials. Um, so potentially I need to, yeah, get spending those. So we've got loads of beds now. Now let's have a little stop and have a look-see at what my people actually need. So obviously they've got fatigue and now when they get fatigued, they'll just go and have a nap. So they're all absolutely fine. They also are going to need um, hunger, cleanliness, uh, toilet, leisure and sport. I would say given toilet and cleanliness are becoming a bit of a problem. And also they've been down here for... Um, yeah, they've been down here for about 15, 15, 16, 17 years and I haven't actually built them a bathroom yet. So I um, feel like that's maybe something that we should probably get on to at some point or other. Uh, though actually, oh, the layout of this vault kind of... Mm, layout of this vault kind of bothers me, actually. Um, because I don't really want people to have to kind of travel through the dormitory in order to get to, to, get to anything else. That's kind of annoying... You know, it'll do for now, but I'll fix it later. I'm going to get rid of that one bed there, so someone's going to get rid of that bed for me. And then I'm going to dig out a big area here that's going to kind of be my next major kind of area to work on. So we'll just kind of start, as I said, kind of working down in that direction. So we'll just kind of work on all of this. Yep, just start kind of clearing out all of that. My builders will dive into this. This looks like a nice, yeah, this is a nice big area. Uh, plenty more. That is can't be destroyed, can't build here. Uh, that probably means nothing there already. That means probably a cave. You've got to be careful with caves though, because you might stumble across mole people at any point. You kind of see, I think there are uh, there's some, yeah, there's some mole people floating around in this cave. So you've got to be careful in caves, because you might just accidentally stumble across the mole people, and that would be bad. That's a rift, by the way. That leads down to other areas, because even though like this area is pretty big, you can go right down to the, like, the next area too. You can go down to, there's four floors, so if you go to a rift, you can build uh, lifts that go down to uh, deeper areas. You can actually build, like, exactly what you've seen. Like, basically, you can build it 4x as big. So you can build really, really massive sprawling vaults, which is really rather cool. I do quite like that. Uh, so just got to be a little careful. We're not... Oh, oh, hang on. I so oh no no that oh it's a mole person it's a, he's beating up a mole person he's beating up a mole person he's gonna I think he's gonna win uh, normally yes a one person versus one mole person the person does win but um, as this is a what well, looks like an open area we need to be a little careful that there might be more mole people in this area indeed we're probably gonna need to wall off this area just to make sure it's safe and <laughs> the janitor has come in to hoover up the remains of the mole person. That's good. So let's start building a wall here as soon as possible. I want this whole area nice and set aside. Though whoever you two are, please don't... No, don't get yourselves stuck on that side of the thing. Oh, God. Get yourselves back, back this side of the wall, please. There are mole people. Please, this side of the wall. Ah, and our first three children have just been born out of the incubator. They are currently zero years old, but they are kind of, they come out as like children, not as, uh, not as kind of like babies. So they can't work for another two cycles yet, and we should give the incubator a break before we start producing some more bits and pieces. Now, I think the best thing we can do, by the way, is basically just clear out all of this stuff here, and then basically build a door. Because I'm pretty sure that mole people can't use doors, so we'll just kind of have a door out to this here cave, 
uh, in preparation for the fact that one day we will probably want to expand in that direction and for the odd idiot people who decide they're going to run off in that direction. Now that we've got this big old room laid out, we need to lay out some kind of basic stuff that we're going to need. So separate door to create kind of a bit of a kind of a partition of space there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have... How are we going to kind of divide up this room here? I kind of like the idea of like having a... Yeah, kind of like a separate bathroom space here. Uh, yeah, a nice bathroom space here. And then we'll just kind of build some walls here. Like, you don't need to do any of this, by the way. Obviously, you could just kind of not bother doing any of what I'm doing and just kind of have a very kind of basic functional utilitarian vault where none of the rooms are kind of separated out. I do kind of like just like having everything. I personally like having it all kind of look quite nice. So we'll have the blue tiles around here. And then this here is going to become our kind of like shower and bathing room. There will be plenty enough space at least for the moment. So build some walls, build some doors, lay some kind of tiles down. Perfect. Uh, nothing's very well lit at the moment, by the way. We will fix that later. Now with that down, we can have some shower pods down. Uh, shower pods are, yeah, we'll have uh, one shower pod here. Another shower pod here, and then we'll have two toilets, and yeah, two toilets at the end there. So we've got two shower pods and two toilets. People don't need to, like, uh, go to the toilet or anything that much. That should be fine. And to make it kind of nice and appropriate, I'm going to put up a little kind of just like a nice vertical lamp uh, just in the corner, just so everything's kind of nice and, yeah, I'll put it over here, actually, yeah. We'll put a nice kind of blue vertical lamp there. So now everyone just quickly go and build all of that. So now there'll be toilets and bathrooms and people will bloody love the fact that toilets and bathrooms. Or at least they will when I bother to connect them to the water supply, which is kind of important for bathrooms. Uh, yeah, water does the exact same thing as all the others. So I believe everything as a, as a conduit for water. So if I just build some things around here and then down this way around here uh, through the door and then you two should all mainly connect together. Uh, I think you should anyway. Yeah, because everything acts as a conduit. So just kind of get that going on. Watch my builders kind of uh, shove some piping down. Piping, 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 piping. And then water should just flow. It's not... Yes, water flows straight through. And now we have got ourselves... Uh, yeah, we got ourselves... Uh, <laughs> would you believe, um, 30 years after we started this vault... Uh, and no people here yet. People are rushing to the toilets, uh, including there is indeed human excrement on the... You could have waited just a few seconds. Guys, for goodness flipping sake. All right, we've now got ourselves showers and toilets, and I believe they're in quite high demand. Next thing's next, we need to create ourselves some food. That is another kind of big thing here. There's a lot of stuff you kind of need to build pretty early that I, I could have built, like, uh, faster if I wasn't kind of talking about it. So, oops, never mind, eh? So we'll kind of have this nice, uh, yeah, we'll have this kind of nice open area here. Build some nice red tiling to indicate that this here is going to be the area where we're going to kind of have like community areas. And we're going to have, yeah, like uh, food and stuff. Everyone can have food next to the rift. It's fine. Everyone can have food next to the rift. Though we do admit to have a bit of a problem, which is somebody has just got mild electric burns stepped on a bare cable. Okay, that's not a serious illness. That's not going to spread. That's not contagion that's going to spread through the rest of the population. So that's absolutely fine. All right. So we've got some nice red flooring down here. And that means now we need to kind of build some basic food and drinky residentially stuff. So a basic kitchen that we can kind of build. Uh, yeah, let's kind of build it. Just trying to build it here. All right, we'll put a kitchen there and we'll put a canteen table over here so that people can, after we've kind of cooked the food, people can all hang out there. So somebody can start building that. And while we are constructing that thing, there was, don't you see a flash of red? No, it's fine. While we uh, do that there, we can now uh, assign some new people to cooking duties. So uh, who can cook? That's good at it. Uh, you're cooking yeah sure you know what you can cook that's absolutely fine we probably need less uh people for building than we used to so i'm gonna build one of the builders over to that and one of these guys can now be assigned to uh be the cook uh probably in all fairness at this point everyone's problem is probably going to be yeah food hunger is becoming an increasing problem uh just like before we need to hook up power and electricity so i'll just quickly do that should be a very yeah in all fairness, that's a single power cable for that and probably a single water cable as well. So that's fine. And then a single water pipe. Uh, yeah, just two water pipes there. Build that. And then that's that. That's all we need. So in just a second, just like with a few bits of piping, this will be fine. And now whoever is the cook will now run over and start producing food. So that is now a uh, number of ingredients available for cooking in this kitchen. 
That's fine. So cooked meals are now being produced. Meals prepared with several types of ingredients restore hunger significantly better. And our residents are starving. I'm sorting it out. It's fine. We've literally just started producing food. Um, so obviously, right now, all we're cooking are the basic uh, reserves that we brought with us. Uh, this is the fridge here. So the fridge has in it, um, basically, uh, as far as I can tell, yeah, the fridge can only hold one thing. That is the fish fridge. That's all it's got in it. It's just got some fish in it. So we're now just cooking basically cooked fish. And in a moment, as soon as this guy's uh, done cooking some stuff, yeah, meal one is basically nothing but fish, so there is no bonus. So we're just basically cooking fish for a bit. And that's all we've got to cook. So I should probably actually create a more diverse little range. And that we can do with farming. Also, only just remember to actually put a little light in the bathroom there. You can choose the light colour, which I like. You can just kind of set all the light colours. So obviously I'm going to put the bathroom in a lovely kind of relaxing light blue. So that's going to be the bathroom in a nice relaxing light blue. I'll put some lights in these other rooms uh, in a minute. But I feel like actually in some ways the bedroom probably could do without any light. That's probably better. All right, as we've actually kind of cleared out most of this room here already, we may as well kind of turn this room into our kind of farm room so let's just kind of clear out some space in the middle of here and then we'll just kind of yeah this can just be our, our farm in this little region so just get some people kind of clearing out here oh people are being sick why are people being sick um luckily we are able to vacuum it up at the moment our janitors can just clear anything up that happens because we've got space in our bins the garbage has not got overloaded yet so we can just kind of, yeah, we can have all that happening. I should get another kind of set of sprogs being produced, by the way. Uh, I'm honestly not quite sure why, you know, there isn't just people don't just like produce children the old-fashioned way. Maybe they were all irradiated by the fallout. And as a result, everyone is now sterile and humanity only survives by producing children out of these mysterious incubators. That's probably a thing. Now, in order to have a little production facility, I'm going to need some metal floors down here. So I'm going to have metal floors. I'm going to turn this into our here farm. So there we are, we've now got a little kind of farm off in this area over here. So the uh, builders will probably kind of jump into this in a second. Do I have not enough builders? Where are my builders? Why are my builders? Oh, I think they're all asleep. I think they were all exhausted. Everyone happens to have gone to sleep at the same time. And I think, aha, that little alert over there means I now have three people who just came of age. Let's just wait for the third one. There we are. I think we've now got some new people. So now if I go over to here, you'll see that I've got loads of people who are 60 and a couple of people who are 20 who just kind of came into existence. And indeed, one of the newcomers can be a farmer, which is good because we actually need some farmers right now where this is kind of one of the new things that we're going to need. In fact, I think we'll kind of have a new farmer and a new engineer and where's the other one and you're not that as good as anything so you can just be another worker so the children now they are have reached age of 20 can join in and help everyone helps build this lovely floor in a hurry it's just me that gets a real sense of satisfaction after just watching little people just kind of complete a task together i enjoy that hugely anyway farming what we can do now is we can just build a basic vegetable patch so we'll just build that down here and that's going to take some water and electricity too, so I may as well get building those as well. Okay, we have now got ourselves a thing going on here, and whoever I assigned to be farmer will presumably come down and farm this in a second, because, oh, broken power cable has been damaged, this may have disabled some objects. Our two qualified engineers should get on it, so something may have just broken down, but doesn't look like it. Hang on, let's just go to the electricity grid, what went wrong? Uh, they may have fixed it immediately because I don't see a problem. Fine. Uh, the game flagged a problem, but it looks like our engineers were right on it. Now, which one of you used the farmer? Ah, yes, here he comes. You can tell by the colour. The guy who's dressed in green is the farmer. And now what he's going to do now is he'll just kind of quietly get on with his job here, which is he is now going to start cultivating. And when he's done cultivating, it will produce some nice vegetables. The vegetables then will need to store somewhere. So while he is getting on with cultivating, we'll build some storage and we'll build a nice fridge. So we'll build a new fridge right next to the farm so that that can be the vegetable fridge. So yes, there we are. He's already he's done his work there and now the vegetable patch is now maturing. And now in a second, he will run back and do a bit more work on it. But for the most part, it's all working by itself. So that's now going to cultivate. He'll work on that when it needs to be worked upon. Other than that, oh, what do you need? Do you need, uh, you need power. Sorry, my mistake. I did not realise a fridge, wait. I did not realise a fridge needed power. Well, in some ways it was obvious, John, yes. And the fridge, by the way, is going to be 
for vegetables. So as soon as these vegetables are done maturing, we will be able to yeah, put some vegetables straight in there. And with that, we will have fish and vegetables, at least for the moment, because these fish are going to run out over time. In fact, they're already on the way to running out. So this is why this was probably quite an important thing to get done now. Now, we should probably also just kind of keep an eye, by the way, on the uh, on the reactor itself. It's actually quite a fun little thing to um, do here. Um, if you go over to the utilities, over here in stats for kind of each essential thing, like it tells you how much is being produced versus how much is being consumed by the bunker, and that's what the spare capacity is. So we've still got 19% spare capacity for our oxygen production, 38% in our power production, whereas uh, water is actually starting to get a little bit on the low side, so I might need to think about a different water purifier at some point or other. But for the moment, we should be all right because I don't think we're actually going to be doing much that's going to require more water at this point. Now, at this point, we should probably start thinking about some more advanced little bits and pieces. So right now, we can only produce vegetable patches, for example. And we've probably got, ah, there's some new babies have just popped out of the incubator. Lovely. So you should probably start thinking about maybe growing some, yeah, fish aquarium. So we can make some brand new fish, for example, to replenish the fish supplies or a fruit bush or a grain patch. But none of those have been researched. So research is probably something that we should actually get into at some point. That's in the residential zone. All we need to do, yeah, get a research station and we'll just kind of plop that down next to the cookie place. And we should probably also actually pop down an infirmary while I kind of think about it too. Ah, the waste containers just filled up. Right, okay, so we've got kind of a choice here, which is right now the janitors can't do any more cleaning up. If anyone like vomits or anything, the janitors simply can't do anything because there's nowhere for them to take the uh, the rubbish. This is our bin over here. Waste container is now full up. So as like, like in SimCity 4, I could just put down another bin that would indeed be a temporary solution and that's what i'm going to have to try and do try and do just to keep us going for the second so a bin lives in storage waste container there we are we'll just build one in the corner of our little kind of farm that's absolutely fine and that will kind of keep us going for the moment at least but we really ideally need something a bit better soon well our vegetable patch is saying we need a farm for cultivation and kind of noticed that my farmer appears to be lonely wants someone to talk to oh i'm so sorry I'm so sorry you're too flipping busy. All right, you, you, you are now reassigned to farming duties. You, get into the farming because someone needs to keep the bloody crops growing, apparently. <laughs> also, someone needs to do a slightly ridiculous dance routine. Excellent. And something's broken down, but I'm sure my engineer will be all over it in a second because I do have engineers who are free at the moment. There we are. So we've now got an extra garbage thing. My janitor's now jumped back into life. You are now doing your little kind of dance routine at this. Now, what's the problem we've got here? Leisure and sport are low for everyone, and that's impacting morale. Well, that's absolutely fine. All we need to do is we'll just need to kind of create a new kind of little, like, leisurey area for everyone to just kind of chill out in. It'll be absolutely fine. Right, whole new area being dug out of the uh, the vault there. While that's happening, do we have a scientist to work on this here machine? Because we need to start getting some research points up. I swear I did assign a scientist, so maybe I didn't bother. Uh, okay, so who actually could be a scientist? You could be a scientist. Uh, you know what? You can be a scientist. You are now the cook. Scientists will, yep, immediately run to the research station. Research points just bloody flying, by the way. As long as you can actually spare someone on the research station, research points come in really, really quickly. Um, no, you need to, you need to get on with the researching. Need some exercise. Well, I'll get you some exercise, but could you please, where are you going? Where are you going? Are you flipping going to the, you need to have a shower apparently because your cleanliness was too low. Research points fly in as long as people can be bloody bothered to do it. Now, while that's happening, let's have a little loopsy at the research deck because there's a ton of research that can be done, by the way. So, uh, yeah, for kind of workers, you can upgrade your drills for like 30. Assembling faster, disassembling faster, drilling through stuff you couldn't drill through before, bunk beds to save space, lifts. So, you know, actually, that's kind of one of the first ones. If you want to expand, for example, that's kind of fast one to go down to. If you kind of need, therefore, oh, a nice karaoke machine. D residents love dancing and it also relieves depression. Leisure is covered twice as fast here than on a sofa. That seems like a sensible thing to have. Treadmill, yep, an excellent way for exercise. You have big reactors, better air purifiers, garbage recyclers. Obviously, that would be useful for me as well as well as kind of improved ore refinery things, uh, better kind of crops, better toolboxes, breakages are less likely. There's like a million things you can research. Um, so yes, research is very, very, very powerful. So let's, let's get some uh, research points up nice and quick. You can see this kind of flying in at the moment. So while, that's, uh, while they're kind of coming in, we can lay out our new kind of new little kind of recreation room. Our residents don't feel well. High fever, severe headaches. Uh, cleanliness probably shouldn't be too bad now that we've got uh, all those showers in play. 
But just on the off chance... Uh-oh, oh, we've got mole people popping up. Guys, guys, mole people, mole people, concern... Okay, all the builders head towards this area. They'll find the mole person and they'll batter them with things. It'll be absolutely fine. Ah, I'm seeing the problem. We potentially need a lot more production, which is we are trying to produce vegetables. But we can't actually keep up with demand. We need to have a new thing here as soon as possible. That's absolutely fine. This is what we can spend all of these lovely research points we've been holding. So, research points... For growth, obviously a fish aquarium. Meat contains a lot of protein. That seems like a useful sort of thing. And grains are rich with calcium, magnesium. It does actually flag what vitamins and everything, which I'm not sure if it makes any actual sorts of difference. So let's get some protein. Okay, so I've just unlocked some extra stuff there. So now if I go into farming, I've unlocked a fish aquarium and a fruit bush. So we can have, oh, a fish aquarium can sit nicely in the corner here. Yep. And a fruit bush can go nicely over. Oh, is it allowed to fit there? Sometimes the game's a bit fussy about, I think that should be okay if it's in kind of the corner over here. Actually, we'll probably be fine with just two. Send a builder to go and deal with, uh, yeah, send, oh, for, you managed to get yourself stuck in the wall, didn't you? Well done. Well flipping done. You can drill yourself out of the wall. Why not? Okay, meanwhile, our nice relaxation zone is kind of coming into focus here. We've got a nice dance machine that people like kind of having a little dance on to kind of make themselves a little bit kind of chirpier. We've got an exercise bike. In a moment, someone will be in to come and kind of build a nice sofa. That guy had a ride on the bike, immediately vomited, and then didn't clean up after himself. Lovely. Garbage is getting to be more than a little bit of a problem too, to be honest. So luckily, we've got... Ah! We've got ourselves a fish. Our fish tank has been built, but it does. It clearly has water in it, but okay, fine game. We'll build it some more water. And we don't need an extra storage fridge for uh, the fish tank because there is already a fridge. Uh, yeah, there's already a fridge over here for fish. What we do, however, need over in research is a garbage recycler. Yes. And that needs to go over on concrete. That's fine. It can go over here in the unpleasant bit of the vault. That's absolutely A-OK, -okay. though it does apparently need quite a lot of water. Ah, so much water, in fact, that we might run into a bit of a water problem in a second, and we'll need to potentially build some new water supplies. Uh, if that's about... Yes, I think I just saw that coming, too. Ooh, water switch bulb allows to control groups of objects and build a complex water grid. Blimey, I don't want to get in with that yet. Uh, this, however, needs to be built on a concrete floor. Ah, okay, I've run into a bit of a problem here. I don't have enough building materials to build a new water pump. Okay, I've got plenty of ore, but I need this thing to start producing building materials in a hurry. Because, yes, uh, it's going to take me a little while to actually be able to have a new water pump, which is unfortunate. Right, what can I... What can I shut down that's using water at the moment? Because ideally, I'd like to get the, the fish up and running. Um, probably shouldn't shut down the thing that's producing the children. That's probably a thing I should not shut down, in fact. For the moment, at least, even though I need to kind of wait for my materials to rise faster. What's this, by the way? Oh, garbage is almost at capacity again. While I've got to wait for 250 minerals in order to be allowed to build a new water pump, at the plus side, at least... I do have, like, I think I've got my, my basic needs covered here. How is everyone feeling? When I say everyone is feeling absolutely bloody miserable. Why are you well, you're mainly miserable? Because your health is apparently at one. Bloody hell. Right. Here we, the very first death. Oh, that was probably old age. It was probably old age. It's probably fine. Uh, yes, this is why you need to be constantly producing new embryos. Because, ah, indeed, the, the O2 level has begun to decrease. Uh-oh. Oh, it's because we're at 19 people. Uh, we're at 19 people, so um, we're now over capacity for the air. For the air. Uh, I also can't do... Yes, um, oh, blimey. Uh, poor, poor Andre Lynch. Um, should, so could someone come please and just kind of clean it up? Ooh, you're filthy, is it? Because your, your cleanliness is appalling. Go and have a shower. Tell the resident to go and have a shower. Go and, go and have a shower right now. You flipping... I like how he actually is now filthy. Go on, go, go, get in the shower, you. You'll feel better afterwards. Meanwhile, the janitors are basically effectively as good as on strike because they can't do anything. This is condition 100 uh, vegetables. Okay, so we are really stockpiling vegetables effectively. We can't grow fish at the moment because that's not receiving water because we've got no water. Uh, we're going to struggle expanding in this direction because all the flipping mole people in the... Maybe we should just like never ever open this here wall. There's a lot of mole people back there. Because actually, I'm not going to bother building more O2 because some people are going to die of old age soon. And when those people have died of old age, oh, there's vomit everywhere. And that's mean that's going to make people get sick, blimey. 
On the plus side, we can nearly sort out the biggest problem in a moment, which is the water pump. Which we're going to need 250 minerals for, and we're almost at that. We'll just speed up time till we've got 250, 240, 245, come on, and there we are, sexy. So now we can just build a new water pump over here, near to the ore refinery and the, the garbage processor. Which is a sensible, sensible thing. Somebody build that in a bloody hurry, please. Because we need, like, lots of water. And I bet that's... Uh, I really hope that's not about to put the bloody generator over capacity. Right, so that needs to be hooked into the grid. Yep. Hook into the power grid. And how is it hooked into the water grid? It's already hooked into the water grid. Right. So, come on, somebody somebody flipping build that one thing. We've got our first elderly resident. Uh, we already had an elderly resident. I'm sure we did. Oh, yes, of course. Um, people are not actually just dying. People are retiring. Um, guys, guys, this, this should be working. This should be working. Why is this not working? I think the power might not have capacity. Okay, I might just be able to have... I might have to shut something down. Well, I can't shut down the children. I need more of those. And by the way, um, you can actually, if you want, um, spend research points to select exactly what skills they're going to have because of genetic engineering. But, oh, the bunkers are a mess. Uh, right, you. We're going to have to just shut you down. Okay, now. Now that we've shut down the infirmary. Oh, wait, we shouldn't have done that. Turn the infirmary back on. Disable this thing. Turn that off. That not using 30 power. The water's now working as it should do. The fish is now going to do that. This thing jumps to life and starts immediately recycling. Things are now going to improve very, very, very quickly. So the garbage amount is now going to start going down. Yes, the garbage amount is going to start going down. As the garbage amount starts going down, people are actually going to be able to start doing their jobs. But also people are retiring extremely quickly. And I believe we've also got no cooks at the moment because the cook retired. Uh, yes, these, look at all the, we've got loads of elderly people and loads of residents. Who can cook? You can cook, congratulations, you're now on cooking duties. Uh, you are now, uh, you're now on cleaning duties because no one else is. We've only got five people working at the moment. And you are going to be on building duties in case anyone needs, yeah, this is actually one of the problems with, uh, uh this happens very, very rapidly. Things go very, ra oh, bloody hell, there's so much that needs cleaning up. Can I just put maybe a couple of extra people? On to flipping. Also, where am I? We're going to have a whole new group of children coming in very, very soon, which is good. Uh, we need to cook. You just be on cleaning. I need two people on cleaning right now. This thing is getting rid of garbage fairly quickly, which means the janitors should actually be able to do their jobs. Everyone is just loving eating in the kitchen that's full of vomit. Uh, are the janitors planning to do anything at any point? I don't think so. The garbage. I think we can't. Oh, yeah, they, I, there's definitely some garbage disappearing here. You know what we probably should do? We should probably build one more bin. Just as a just as a bin, just as a backup. Just as a backup bin here. Oh, we've got new people coming in. Thank flipping goodness for that. You. Okay, put a double person. Okay, we're now at this point got Oh yes, this is good. Right. Double person on farming, one person on cooking, three janitors, a repairman and one person building. We only need one builder. Now, all you janitors, start mopping up the sick. I want this place to be spick and span before I bloody finish this video, all right? I'm not looking this incompetent. And also clean up that dead person. Whoever that was, clean up that person. Also, maybe stop playing Dance Dance Revolution just for a minute. We probably should be focusing on other things. Okay, my janitors are definitely picking up the worst of this at the moment. And garbage is indeed being recycled. I'm not sure into what. I think it just disappears rather than being converted into anything uh, useful. The amount of garbage is definitely... It's rising, but it's being recycled at the same time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My handymen are actually getting on top of things at the moment. Quick game of Dance Dance Revolution there by my only builder. The reference my only builder does not have anything else to do at the moment. Here we go. Farmers are starting to plant some fish. They put some fish eggs into the way I was I meant that as a joke but no fish do actually come out of fish eggs uh, that that would that was a very badly thought out joke now we've got two farmers to produce yep we've got no vegetables in the trunk do we have any fish no we don't have any fish either Does, is anyone going to be able to cook as a consequence no no one can currently cook all oh, this I like the fish have actually got bigger in the big old fish tank that I like and then over here I'm guessing the vegetables also get bigger as they uh, they grow too 
That's very cute. I like that. Will you just stop mosing your way into the flipping thing, please? Just just go and lie down bloody... We've got so many retired people because all of the original generation is retired. This is one of the things you've got to be prepared for. That the original generation will actually just retire at some point and then you're going to potentially run into the problem where no one can actually work anymore. Also, why are you not receiving... Oh, you're not getting power. Right, we could potentially use some... Uh, yeah, we could potentially use another generator as well. I suspect we don't kind of... Well, actually, we'll probably just have the resources. Oh, bloody hell. We're almost at flipping garbage capacity. We're recycling it as fast as we can. So I feel like, actually, thanks to the garbage recycler and three bins, we've just got about enough to sustain this population of 13. The air's not catastrophically failing anymore. We've got enough people... Oh, look, everyone. Everyone eating together. You know what? I'm going to make this place a little bit nicer. We're going to make this place a bit nice. Ah, you see, what a difference just a little bit of lighting makes. Some nice green lighting for the lab, some nice kind of warm orange lighting for the recreation room, some kind of bright yellow lighting for the kitchen and diner. Can, can someone please, um, can someone please mop this up? Thank you if you just get on with that. Some lovely blue lighting for the, uh, blue lighting there for that. And that, by the way, um, is, is uh, just kind of the little, uh, casket that someone leaves behind when they die. They sort of self-cremate as they die, which is very, very convenient of them. You can also see in there, oh, you can see, you can see a little person. That is a little, there's a little embryo. Little embryo in the tank there just being great. I like the, I love this. This sort of thing just appeals to me. Like, I, I, I don't, I'm, in some ways, like, I probably can't even fairly evaluate this game, because, like, my, my opinion is just, like, I like this sort of thing. This sort of thing just appeals to me at some deep fundamental level. Oh, I think our first fish harvest just came in there. Ten fish. Ten fish have jumped into the fridge. And that means hopefully we will be able to maximum number of cooking ingredients, uh, number of ingredients available for cooking in this kitchen. We will say, yeah, potentially if you were to mix together some, uh, some fish and some vegetables. I believe we've got, yeah, we've got nine vegetables and ten fish. Who's cooking at the moment? Let's get some nice meals on the way here. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Why have we got problems with the embryos? Why has something failed? Do we have a, a cracked power line here? I don't need to, ideally I need the embryos to not be, not be broken. What have I, if I just tied something new into the, what have I tied into the system that requires more, a greater draw of power? Ah, I think the problem with the problem with the actual embryo machine itself. And I'm hoping that this guy here is about to bloody fix this. I'm really hoping he's about to fix this, because I don't want to have to lose these bloody embryos. And yes! Okay, are they fine? The embryos are fine! And when we say fine, they may have just... They may come out a little bit... Odd. They might come out just a bit peculiar. Okay, I've just built a secondary reactor in order to... Yeah, without power for a while. And no, I think the problem might actually be it's broken. Not the... Yeah, it's broken and needs repairs. I think potentially the problem is we don't have enough people on... Oh, you just you just uh, came of age. Good, we've got more people coming of age. All right, let's get a double mechanic going on here. Together with a double cook, uh, double farming, and only a single... Who else is... You're new. You can be on building duties as well. We'll have a second person on building duties. Right now we've got no one on science. Ooh, you're apparently not doing a job up there. Bloody hell. I think maybe that person was sick. When people are sick, they can't do jobs. So we'll kind of get one person up there. That means we can turn the research station back on, which means our one scientist can probably now get back on it. What I love about this game is like the tiny little micro-optimizations you can make to it. So if you have like every single item in the game, you can set its service priority. Like how often and how important it is to get serviced. So like if you desperately want to make sure your food production stays up, you can just set that to 10 out of 10. And it'll get serviced more often, for example. I just love it. There's so much like little things that you can just kind of do. It's great. I absolutely flipping adore it. All right, the residents are starving, so claims the game, but my chef is making meals as fast as they can, and thanks to the fact there are two ingredients involved, fish and vegetables, it's giving 20% bonuses. So I think the hunger situation should actually be solved pretty quickly at this point, because we're actually producing fish and vegetables in groups of 10 pretty darn fast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as our residents settle in for the long wait for the fallout to clear, I'm going to call it apart here. This reminds me so much of some beautiful, beautiful old games that... Uh, that I used to play. I just love the art style of it, the blockiness of it, the the little kind of level of micro optimization that you make uh, to everything. It's just lovely. I've, also, I've kind of I've just built a VR game machine there, by the way. I'd actually quite like to just build a little kind of tranquility lane vault here. Just nothing but VR machines for happiness. That'd be very very cool. Fish, fish are coming in, so we've got a healthy supply of kind of vegetables, a healthy supply of fish. There's kind of plenty of food being produced here. 
As a result, hunger's not really such a problem anymore. There's kind of plenty of food sitting around. Anyone who wants to come and grab food, there's four excellent quality meals just waiting for them there. We've got this lovely lighting in the bathroom. Just, I've just built this tiny, tiny little vault here for just kind of like, I just keep a little population of like uh, 12 people with three more kind of coming in, with three more in production in the embryo machine. But just, just, to, just as a reminder, this is um this is just kind of covering this little area of the map here. I've just built these few little rooms. So it goes down here, then it goes way over here. There we go. Then it goes all the way up here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, to about it's a little bit north of that. So then we go there. Then we go uh, way back over here. And then finally we come back down and we find my vault again. So I could fill the entirety of that space with this vault. Then I could go down and do the same thing to this whole area down here on the second level because a uh, lift is one of the things you unlocked through research. So you could go down to the second level and you find another rift. Yeah, that's what the rifts are for. You can uh, build lifts and then you can travel between areas on lifts. Then you could do the same to the third area, then the fourth. So you could build like, oh, it's huge. You could build the most massive vault and just like get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people and like you know have enough people set to be engineers that the whole thing kind of runs itself and oh this sort of thing I could very happily spend an entire weekend playing ladies and gentlemen aside from that very sad that sad little spot there's a little for some reason there's a spot right in front of the bloody kitchen where the janitors just refuse to yeah the janitors just bloody refuse to actually uh, pay any attention to uh, to all the garbage there but oh I like this. I like this, and I expect there'll be a fair few of you who like this sort of thing just as much as me. If you are part of that particular generation that loved playing little kind of top-down strategy games in the 90s, this just recreates the feel of those just beautifully. Oh, I love this. I love this so very, very much. If you like these kind of top-down strategy games type things, I cannot recommend this highly enough. This is... This is just lovely. This is this is a beautiful, relaxing, rainy Sunday game. I cannot call it anything other than that. But yes... There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Life in Bunker. Absolutely just my cup of tea. This is just my sort of game. If you can think of other games on Steam, by the way, that are kind of like this one, do let me know in the comments below, because I'm always on the lookout for more kind of interesting games that kind of tickle my nostalgia fancies. And I will definitely keep an eye out for those in the comments. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And as I zoom in on my lovely, lovely fish farm, this has been Life in Bunker. Thank you very much, and goodbye. What the hell? All right, we've now got a Scottish zombie traveling with us. Oh, he's actually quite good now. And he's got over his drinking problem, which is, oh, he eats human flesh. He's got some decent carrying capacity. Okay, fine, he eats people, but come on, let's not be flipping judgmental about this.